has been a good amount of time since we have packed up our things and move across the world from Los Angeles, California to Sao Paulo, Brazil. And while we focus the first bit of our trip or our journey here, really exploring the city, getting used to living in another country, and of course, eating some really good food, we have been here for quite a while. And frankly, our apartment is starting to look like it. So today I'm going to hunker down and really work on tidying up our living space and turning this home house apartment thing into a place that is functional, but also clean. Now, because so much of this problem of tidiness in this apartment is really not about us being messy, but rather just not having enough storage, I'm gonna start off cleaning the things that are really easy, like the dishes, because I know that all of those things have a spot or all of the things that are making that messy have a place to go and it's really easy to figure out how to clean that up. For everything else, I'm going to have to figure out how to get creative. And right now I don't think I have the mental capacity to figure that out quite yet. Don't they say if your shirt comes out dry, you didn't really do the dishes? We actually haven't walked down the stove since we've been here, so I don't know how grody it's gotten, but it's time to fix it. <gasps> These come off. Maybe I should wash them. I will say something that I enjoy about living here is that before staying here, I was kind of intimidated of gas stoves. As you see, we have one in here and I actually love it. They cook so much quicker. They're so much easier to use. Water boils fast. It's great. And so, not that I necessarily think I can afford one when I go back in my own house, it is nice to dream and to know that a gas stove is definitely something worth investing in when I can. Okay, so now that the kitchen's done, I think what I should do next is start the laundry. We actually have a really nice washing machine because it's a washer and dryer. Even though we hang dry most of our clothes, I think it's really nice to be able to just like take towels like this, throw it in the dryer and the washer and then walk away and when you come back, it's done.
So this next area is kind of the balcony patio, but Eric usually uses it for his music and just wind down time. I'm going to try to tidy it up to make it a little bit more spacious and figure out where to put things when he's not using them so they're just not all sprawled out. Okay, as you see, as you see, not the biggest of difference, but I did move most of these things up there in the top corner. You see my suitcase at the top because there's no real place to put it. Eric's suitcase is over here on the floor. I didn't really touch his clothes because that's kind of his thing, but um, but I mean, again, for lack of storage, I think it looks pretty spacious and pretty nice. <laughs> All right, let's get back inside because it's really hot out here. I think I got a game plan. I'm going to just move things one by one and things that don't have a place, I'm just going to make fit into other places where it's like out of sight, out of mind. So like if it's these bags or like my mask, I'm just gonna try to hide them versus try to find a place where it all begins or belongs. Because frankly, I don't think there's just enough storage here for everything to have its own place. I still feel like, you know, again, don't know where to put that suitcase. Don't know where to put that suitcase. But you know, things are all looking organized. So all in all, I think it was a pretty productive morning, pretty productive day. I think my favorite part about kind of traveling and living in other places is seeing what parts of your life stay the same and what parts change drastically. Yeah, again, not the most exciting vlog, but it was really helpful for me to tidy up and find a place for everything and hopefully we can maintain this cleanness. But if you enjoyed this vlog and you want to see more like it, I would check out my past video on adulting in grad school. Or if you're just interested in my vlogs or my life more generally, I have a whole playlist about it. Please leave a like because that helps me as a small YouTuber grow. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.